All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And man, we have another great video today. A lot of you have reached out to me and mentioned and made comments about Sun Lu filament and how good it was and how cost effective it was. And um, there were a lot of benefits of using that filament. So I actually reached out to Sun Lu to see if they would uh, send me some filament. They actually sent me two different samples of filament to use. Now in, um, one of my uh, tuning videos, you may have seen us use the Sun Lu filament um, in one of these colors, but I haven't done a review on it yet. So I thought today would be a great day to go ahead and go over the Sun Lu filament. And I, they did send me two rolls of it with two different colors. Um, so we'll go ahead and look at their website, look at the cost of the filament, um, see what any benefits that they claim there are to the filament, and then we'll get into testing it. And uh, we'll go ahead and go through the calibration, both steps of the calibration in Bamboo Studio and see how easy that is. And then we'll do a print by object um, where we print out a sample of each at the same time, um, but it'll actually print one sample and then print the other instead of going layer by layer. So I'll show you how to do that as well today. And then after that, I'll give you my overall thoughts on everything and let you know if this is a filament that I would recommend and one that I'll keep on using. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so let's take a look at Sun Lu's um, website here. And as you can see, and I've bounced around here a little bit, um, it really pays off to buy bundles from them. And as you could imagine, it would make kind of sense, right? They don't want to send you one roll at a time. And it does sure seem like, I mean, look, 10, <laughs> 10 rolls of this black filament, right? For a hundred bucks, that's 10 bucks a roll. That's pretty good pricing, right? Um, so it definitely pays to bundle here and they have all kinds of different filament. Uh, reusable spools if you want to do that. Lots of these different bundles. Hue Forge painting bundle. Uh, one cool thing is they have uh, recycled filament. Uh, PLA, silk, ABS, PETG for about 11 bucks a roll. That's really cool. They have the wood filament. So they have lots of really cool uh, different types of filament um, in here. Um, even uh, you know, cool, shiny colors, TPU, all of that different stuff. But they even have, where is it? Glow in the dark filament. Yeah, glow in the dark filament, which looks really, really cool as well. I'd love to uh, try some of that out. Maybe we'll try some of that out in a different video. Um, but very, very price conscious um, if you buy bundles from here. So that'd be one really big benefit here. And then it looks like they have a lot of different options for uh, what you can uh, do with it, right? From Hue Forge to just normal printing and prototyping to the different gradient rolls like we saw in the live stream, you know, different bundles. These are good you know, starter packs or whatever, if you want to get a whole bunch of rolls at once, if you want some environmental friendly, some of you guys have asked about recycled filament and stuff like that. So this is kind of cool to see, um, you know, and very, very cost effective. Um, so that's a little bit of an overview of their website. You'll see that they have 3d printers. They have all kinds of filaments, resins for, that type of stuff, all of these different uh, filaments, you know, rainbow, ASA, ABS, carbon fiber. Um, you know, it looks like they have uh, quite a bit of different um, things, TPU, um, all of that different stuff. And again, it really pays to bundle with them. Um, so I would say, you know, cost effective if you're really printing a lot of stuff or if you're just getting a brand new printer and you want a cost effective way to have a lot of colors, right? If you have one or two AMSs and you want to do some multicolor prints and you want a cost effective way to do so, um, Sunlu would be a, a really good choice to do that. Um, we'll get through some of the testing here and see how it goes through. But, you know, a lot of people have mentioned um, Sunlu and how uh, well it prints. And so far, I've printed a couple of things and so far so good um, but with that let's go ahead and transition over to bamboo studio and we'll go ahead and uh, get the testing underway all right so here we are in bamboo studio and we'll see that this generic pla and this generic pla 
are the Sunlu filaments that they sent me. So they sent me uh, pink and purple. Uh, so we'll go ahead and test those. So the first thing that we'll do is go into calibration and I do have the cool plate installed here just to make the calibration easy for us. Um, and we can do the auto calibration. This isn't really a video about calibration. So we'll just do the auto calibration for these. And again, what's really cool about this is we're using this nozzle with this cool plate and you know, we can do four at a time, but we can really just isolate down to these two. So we'll go ahead and hit calibrate on there. And I'll see you in a few minutes when it gets done. All right, now that it's done, let's take a look at the results. And we'll see pretty consistent between the two, right? This is the same brand and manufacturer um, and everything. And I did do separate colors on some of these to see if there was ever any difference. And for the most part, these are pretty close. On And honestly, if one of these was 0 0.035 and one of these was 0 0.036, I don't think that's going to make a huge difference there. So we'll go ahead and just save this as Sunlu. I don't think I need to save the second one as that since they're both the same um, K factor or whatever, but we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, so only one of the results with the same name will be saved. Are you sure you want to override the other results? We'll say yes. And this has been saved to the printer. So now whenever I load Sunlu filament in there, um, I can go ahead and select that um, on the machine. And, um, you know, this K value will go ahead and show up there. All right. So we did the first flow dynamics calibration. So now let's do the flow rate calibration. And again, we'll do the auto calibration. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll need to do these one at a time. Um, so we'll go ahead and start out with the pink one there in slot three. All of this is correct. And we'll go ahead and calibrate this. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, it's done with the flow rate on the pink one. <clears throat> and it has a flow rate of 0.974. And we're gonna save to filament preset. Now, again, I don't think you need to do this for every single color. So I'm just going to save this as Sunlu. And what we'll do is we'll just do the auto calibration for the purple just to see what the result is and to see how far off it may be. So we'll go ahead and hit calibrate. And I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so let's see what the results were. Nine, four, seven. Uh, so I think that's a little bit different than the other one. We'll stick with the first one there. Let's double check that. <clears throat> so there it is saved as Sunlu. So if we go in there, nine, seven, four versus nine, four, seven, right? Yeah, I don't think that's a big difference. I don't think that's a big enough difference to change anything on there. Um, if you think it's a big enough difference, maybe you just average the two there, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is there. And now we'll do a test print to see if, um, we can print with that same thing. So what we'll do here is back out of the flow calibration. We'll go back over here and we will change this one to Sunlu. It's already set on there, but we that's the way that you can do it. So every time you save the flow uh, calibration there, it's saved under here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get a test print set up. All right. So we have two of our filament models in here, our filament sample models in here. So we'll go ahead and color those. And how we do that is we just click on this one and I'm gonna just press the number three on my keyboard. And that's gonna take, <clears throat> that's gonna select this filament for us. I'm gonna select the other one and I'm gonna push number four on my uh, <clears throat> keyboard. And that is going to uh, select this filament here. 
All right, so now let's take a look at it if we sliced it like this. Um, so the normal way that it would do this is the first layer, it would print this and then it would do a filament change and go over here and do this purple one and do all of that. And it's gonna take almost nine hours for it to do that. In this situation, we really don't need to do that. It would be better for us to print by object, meaning, right, we have enough room where it can print this entire object and then do a filament change and print this entire object. That way it's only doing one filament change. So how we do that is to go back into prepare Go into others and right here under special mode you'll see slicing mode regular print sequence by layer and this is what we need to change to by object so now we'll see these little borders around there and this and this is all taking into consideration the um, you know, how big the uh, tool head is or the print head and everything is. Um, so what we need to do is move these to where these circles aren't, you know, touching or whatever. And the easy way to do that is to just hit this auto orient button right there. And that'll put it in a place to where it'll print by object and it's only going to do one color change. So we'll see from eight hours and 54 minutes down to an hour and 21 minutes. So you can see a significant time changing on there. This video isn't really about that, but that's a cool little trick for those of you that have um, made it this far in the video. Uh, print by object whenever you can do this. This is a huge time saver for printing uh, multiple things. So let's go ahead and print the plate. Now we don't need to do flow dynamic calibration because we already did that and we already saved it in there and have all of that stuff in there. Um, but we'll leave everything the same. We're still printing in land mode. So we'll go ahead and send this to the printer and I'll see you when it gets done for my final thoughts. <laughs> Right, so as you can see, they printed out really, really good. There's no stringing, there's no gaps, there's no anything like that. After the calibration and everything, they printed out just fine. And I will say that, you know, they both calibrated fairly close to each other. That shows some consistency between the two colors. And after the two simple uh, calibrations, you know, I was able to uh, print these very, very well. So I'll say that this is some good filament. It seems to be consistent. Um, so it looks like you could, you know, each type, PLA, PLA+, plus, PLA matte, silk, each of the different types of filament you would need to do a calibration on, but I don't think you'd need to do it for every color. It does seem like Sun Lu is pretty consistent with um, their filament. Um, as for recommending it for purchase, heck yeah, like it's a really good price for it and it is um, really high quality um, filament in my opinion from what I've seen up to this point. Um, it printed out very, very well. It was consistent and everything like that. So I would definitely recommend it. And they even have recycled filament and glow in the dark filament. Um, so, so those are some of the things that I'm going to uh, go on the website myself and order so that um, we can print those things out. I think that would be pretty cool, especially the glow in the dark. And if you're interested in uh, recycled uh, printing stuff, you know, if you're prototyping stuff and it doesn't really matter, you know, recycled uh filament may be the way to go for you. So cl uh, click the link below to check out Sun Lu's website and, uh, you know, check out everything that they have there and make sure to order in bulk and, you know, get you a couple of rolls of Sun Lu filament. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure enjoyed um, doing it. I'm going to enjoy printing the rest of these two rolls here of the Sun Lu filament and I'll definitely be getting some more. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week and next weekend. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe.
Thank you.